What is going on everyone? So it is Sunday right now, about to go hit some chest. Today I just got out of work and today I have to go to a baby shower. So I'm gonna go do some commentary in the gym. I'm gonna film myself and I'm gonna bring you guys along to my cousin's baby shower. I'm gonna go do some chest and I will do some commentary. See you guys in the gym. What's going on you guys? It is September 28th, it's around 6.30 at night and I'm doing this voiceover the next day I made this video. So, funny story, I recorded this video and then I edited it up and I had it all ready to post and everything. And I was cleaning out my computer because I realized that I had really no memory on my computer whatsoever. So I deleted some files. Little did I know that I deleted the whole video that I basically made. So this is the second time I made this video and I am talking in this voiceover. So just a little update for you all. I'm weighing in around 186 pounds. I'm feeling good right now. My strength I can tell is going down a bit, but from this video, I'm not sure if you guys realize, but I got 185 pounds for seven sets of four, which is a new personal record for myself because in the past, I had to do 185 pounds. I did the same weight, but I actually needed some assistance on the last set. And Zach Graham, the guy that I did the Campus Protein video with, he actually had to help me out with the last set. Thank you, Zach. I know you don't want to admit it, but you did help me. But for the last set that I did on this whole workout, I actually ended up getting it by myself. So that's a new personal record for myself. And now that I did that, I now know that I can move up in the weight. And now that I know in the future, I'm going to realize that I'm going to need a little bit more assistance. So I'm going to start wearing my wraps again. And I'm also going to start wearing my belt because I also just want to make sure that I'm not hurting myself with my lower back because the weight is getting a little bit heavier since I am losing weight. And if you guys are losing weight, expect that to happen. You aren't going to keep the strength that you would if you were in a caloric surplus. So right now, since you're not taking in more calories, then you're going to realize that you're going to be losing a bit of strength. And that shouldn't really affect you mentally because you should be knowing that that's supposed to happen. And that's not supposed to happen right there. I actually hit that side and I almost had to fail and drop the weight. But... I ended up pushing through, pretty excited about that. Don't let that happen to you all. Make sure you put on clips and that's probably something that I should have done and I didn't take the time to do so. So learn from your mistakes. Don't look at me for advice when you start putting on clips because clearly I don't do that whatsoever. The moral of the story is basically don't expect to make the same strength gains you would make if you were in a caloric surplus. Right now you're not taking in more calories than you're burning. You are actually burning more calories than you're taking in. So to end the workout, I ended up doing some back exercises, some tricep exercises. I didn't get all the videos and I'm pretty pumped right now because I got to add weight to my dips. Usually I do a body weight, but I ended up adding about five pounds. Slowly but surely I'm going to move up in the weight and I'm going to make it even harder. So that's all I have for today's commentary and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so I just got out of the gym, pretty excited because I hit 185 for seven sets of four. Zach Graham, if you remember from our last video, you had to spot me on the last set. This time I didn't have to do that, so. Squirrel. So, about to go to Whole Foods and grab some Arctic Zero. See you guys there. So now that that's done, have you guys ever had ice cream and then your tongue feels a little bit like numb and you can barely talk, right? Yeah, that's happening to me right now. Had the ice cream. If you guys noticed, I like to heat it up just for like 15 seconds and it just makes it so much smoother, especially if we're gonna eat uh, once you buy the ice cream right away. It's too like frozen as soon as you get it. So I like to heat it up and also just in general, I like to have it like nice and smooth. So I am going to my cousin's baby shower and I have a special guest for you all. She has, she's been, she's been watching all my videos. She's my number one fan and I'm going to introduce you all to my number one fan. So see you guys in a bit.
What's your name? Isabella. You like my videos? Someone else? Why? Because she likes all the food that I make, right? Number one fan. guys so i think this is where i'm gonna end the video thank you all so much for watching please comment share like and subscribe and don't forget to stay healthy everyone